Welcome back. Mrs. Sewell here with another great story time. There's so much that you can learn from the story I'm going to share today. Be thinking about growth mindset, pessimism versus optimism, positive attitude versus a negative attitude. I hope you love this story as much as I do, boys and girls. It's titled Milton and Odie and the Bigger Than Big Mouth Bass. It's written and beautifully illustrated by Mary Ann Frazier. Milton and Odie and the Bigger Than Big Mouth Bass. Milton stumbles out of bed and swipes the frost from his window. Bah, what a miserable day for ice fishing. Odie leaps out of bed to check the weather. <laughs> what a beautiful day to test my luck on the lake. Milton drills a hole, hooks a worm, and dunks his tangled line. Kerplunk. In the lonely stillness, he waits. And nothing, not a nibble. Not a bobble, not a bite. Odie saws a hole, hooks a worm, and lets his sleek line sink. Kerplink! In the splendid stillness he waits, and nothing, not a nibble, not a bobble, not a bite. Mm, bet this lake has nothing worth catching, Milton mumbles. He hauls up his line. No wonder there's no nibble. This worm has no wiggle. I'll try bait with more jiggle. Milton plucks a red thread from his sock. Pew! This stinky string will have to do. Kerplunk. Bet this lake is brimming with big catches, Odie sings. He reels in his line. Oh, no wonder there's no nibble. This weary worm needs a rest. I'll try bait with more zest. He pulls a stick of gooseberry gum from his pocket. Yum! <laughs> gum and get it, fishies! Plink! Milton's bobber bobs. His pole bends. He gives a yank and pulls an old sole from the hole. Just my luck. A yucky, mucky boot. <sighs> Odie's bobber bobs. His pole bends. He gives a heave and lands a very wet net. Oh, what great luck! A super fish scooper! Milton feels even less hopeful. Still, he drops in his line again. Kerplunk. Odie knows something even better waits below. He drops in his line again, of course. Kerplink. Milton checks his watch. His bobber bobs. His pole bends. Ugh, I've snagged the bottom. He gives a yank and reels back the slack. Hody hums a merry tune. <laughs> his bobber bobs, his pole bends. Woo hoo, I've hooked a big one. He gives a heave but can't hang on. Milton pulls Odie's pole up through the hole. Oh, what good are two poles when there are no fish? Milton kicks his bucket and heads for home. Oh, boy. Milton's been stuck in this negative style of thinking and this pessimistic mindset all day. He woke up grumpy, didn't he, boys and girls? Yes, he did. Now he's giving up. He's just going to pack it all in and go home. Oh, Milton. 
time to fetch another pole. Odie scoops up his bucket and springs for home. <laughs> what a big difference. Odie, who has looked at the positive side the whole day, isn't going to let losing his pole get him down. No, sir. He's on his way back home to get a different pole and come right back and try again. He's not giving up. By chance, Milton and Odie meet. Hey, you found my pole! Odie exclaims. Hey, your gum stuck to my thread, Milton grumbles. Care to join me? asks Odie. I'm fishing for a big mouth bass. How do you know there's one down there? asks Milton. Well, how do you know there isn't? asks Odie. Hmm, Milton had never asked himself that before. You know, sometimes, boys and girls, we do get stuck in certain thought patterns and certain ways of doing things until someone challenges us to look with a different perspective. That's exactly what Odie just did. For just a second, Milton imagines what might be below the ice. He drills a new hole, hooks a worm, and dunks his tangled line. Kerplunk! <laughs> I think I see a smile on Milton's face, too, don't you? Odie saws a new hole, hooks a worm, and lets his sleek line sink. Kerplink! In the stillness, they wait. Now, I have a, a not-so-little nibble, Milton shouts. Now, I have a bigger-than-big bobble, Odie hollers. Milton gives a yank. Odie gives a heave. They reel back their slack, and together they net a Bigger than big mouth bass. Oh, look at the size of that fish. That's more than enough for the two of them to share. <laughs> good, good job, guys. Good teamwork. Oh, why are you still fishing? Odie asks. We've already caught a bigger than big mouth bass. Well, how do you know there isn't another one down there? Milton asks. <laughs> That's the spirit, cheers Odie. <laughs> and so, together, they imagine the possibilities. Oh, I love this ending. Milton's not lonely anymore. He's found a friend in Odie. And there they are, ice fishing together. And by the looks of that fish coming towards their lines, that's going to be one big whopper. Milton and Odie. Oh, what a special story. I love it. I hope you did too. And I hope you learned a few things. Until we can be together next time. Bye-bye.